Two dots in a row is how I roll with Vito Two Risk. I'm in with Big Mouth Media. Let's get it. Yo, yo, it's your boy, Big Mouth, Mouth of the South, man. Let the people know we rocking with. Hey, a little too risky. You feel me? Two dots in the rolls, I roll. Three kilo. I'm here with Big Mouth. Yes, sir. Hey, look, man. Talk to the people, man. Let them know where you from. Hey, Newburgh, North Carolina, 2-5. You feel me? Country shit. Hey, look, man. Is it really the country, though, man? Because I ain't really been out there, but I heard a lot about Newburn. Pull up, man. I keep telling you. Pull up. I can't tell you nothing. Pull yeah. up. Pull up, man. Hey, look, man. Growing up. Me hearing about Newburn, like y'all was big on football. Like I always heard about like y'all y'all high school football. Like the teams always win all the championships. Mm -hmm. Did you grow grow up uh, playing football or what? Mm -hmm. I used to play football in like middle school, but damn, I used to get suspended a lot. So goddamn, matter of fact, I got suspended one time. I got I came back. I was the HJ. Who was going? Who going to a game too? Mother told me, he said, yeah, you good, goddamn. Tell you, just run the perimeter of the school twice. I said, all right, bet. Goddamn, as soon as that bell rung, got my ass on the bus. Yeah. That's the last time I played any sport. Damn. I never made the basketball team. Nothing. I went to the basketball on um, trials, Gucci yeah. boots on, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. boy went to the trials in Gucci boots. Hey, I'm going for the 40 orders too. Hey, <laughs> 40 RP fella, hustle man, you feel me? Yeah. When did you realize though that like sports wasn't for you though, and that you know what I'm saying like you really with this rap shit? I never damn, I never thought about sports. Like I never, I never was into sports. Like I got there, I played the shit. You feel me in the neighborhood and this and that. But as far as going pro with that shit, I never expected that. You feel me? I never even took the time out my day to even try. You feel me? I was just trying to damn wear that jersey in school. You feel me? Get all the bitches and that. Yeah. yeah, I'm on the football team. What you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> so, so what does New Bern like really know you for though? Like, what's what the city know you for? Me, you feel me? Being risky. Risky. Being risky. Watch, listen to dice game. Goddamn, got my name for a reason. You feel me? I'm too risky. You Everything feel, about me is risky. You feel like the people out there know you though, or you kind of still trying to make your name out there? Nah, like they know me. They know me. Goddamn, they knew me before I was born. Cause my pops. You feel me? Goddamn, I'm Vito. Love yeah. Vito to them, you feel me? Love Vito to my city. But everybody know me, you feel me? Yeah, when well you say your pops though, like, what was your pops known for? Like, what, what tradition did he pass down to you? Being him. Being him? Being him. <laughs> <laughs> my man said a whole lot with a little bit. <laughs> but now, um, so look, yeah, New Bern, man, country town, man. I know you got a crazy story for me out there in New Bern, like, that's the country. Like, I know, I know y'all wildin' out there. We just got a lot of stories with like the damn police and shit, man. Like we got it. Like I get in, I get in like a lot of shit with the police, but like I always like I don't know. But it be like petty, but it be you feel me? Like you feel like the police be picking on you? Yeah, yeah. But I be teasing them too at the same time. Like goddamn, I be doing a hundred down. They turn their lights on. I keep going on shit. Like goddamn, turn, I, turn. Last time I got locked up, it was like. 2017, I was in like a little rental, right? Goddamn, I'm doing like a hundred. Past Walmart X. The motherfucker on the can now. I look to my right, sit, man, I ain't fuck out of here. Goddamn, speed through traffic. <laughs> Gone. Hop on the exit. Goddamn, I get on the exit. This motherfucker keep going straight. Now he on the highway. He keep going straight. I get up to the light on the exit. This motherfucker's coming up with them motherfuckers coming down. So I'm like, oh shit. Goddamn, this motherfucker. Catch me, you feel me? We want me, so we gotta pull up to the gas station. Hop out, walk to the, walk towards the store. He like, he pull up, get back in the car, get back in the car. The motherfuckers pull up like, what, seven deep on me? I ain't, I ain't even had nothing on me, but a few dollars, you feel me? Motherfuckers, but well, they found like a little blunt in down in the trunk. Gave me like a what, fifty thousand dollar bond. Yeah, fifty thousand dollar bond for that shit. Goddamn, he told me, he told me every time I see you, goddamn, I'm gonna take your jewelry, your money. Anything valuable, you feel me? Goddamn, he don't, the, the officer that was in charge when that shit was going on, he ain't asked me nothing about nothing but my daddy. He asked me about my daddy every time he see me. How your daddy doing? What your daddy got going on? What your daddy at? Do this, what the? Bruh, I'm ready to go to jail, you feel me? Like, yeah. <laughs> do what you gonna do. 
The motherfuckers, but they damn, it's straight. It's some, it's some, it's, it's some cool ones out there though that let you, you feel me? Let you slide. God damn, I ain't got no license, so god damn, they pulled me over, made me walk out the car, walk away from the car, or some shit, till they leave, and I'm back in the car type shit, you know. Yeah. Nothing too serious though, god damn. We just be chilling out there, thing, you feel me? Yeah. Now nah, for sure, for sure. I don't know why they want to give you a hard time for my boy. I'm risky, man. It's risky, you feel me? Like, it ain't risky, man. Yeah. It's, it's a maze out there. That's why that's I'm trying. So I stay as far as away as possible, you feel me? Yeah, do you ever feel like you need to move? I'm gone. I'm gone, bro. Like, I'm, I'm everywhere, you feel me? Like, I got a crib in there, but like, goddamn. I'm, that shit, that shit feel like a trap, you feel me? It is a trap, because damn, if you, once this time, it's like I got a probation. So goddamn, it's time to go. You feel me? You can't, you can't stay around there because you liable to get caught up in something else. You feel me? It's always something, no matter what. Like, yeah. I just got pulled. We just got pulled like what? A week ago, they took like five rats from me. You feel me? No, they took like forty-seven hundred from me. They gave me eight hundred back. They said that I owed thirty-nine in damn tax for some shit I got caught with. You feel me? Is that is that the most that they took from you though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the most money they ever took from me. But they gave me some back. I was surprised yeah. they gave me some back. So they took five bands from you? Yeah, they took forty seven hundred. Forty seven hundred? Yeah, yeah, they took forty they gave me eight back. They took out thirty nine forty. How was you able to get it back? I wasn't. Oh, I thought you said you got some of it back. Oh no no no. When I um, I met them at the police station. I yeah. was like, Yeah, give me my damn paper, you feel me? And the dude was like dude was like, Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna go, you feel me? Like, yeah, you get this back, this and that, this and that, goddamn man. You feel me? But I just let that shit go, cause really, like, it's like a closed door in my past now. You feel me? Cause I've been needing that since I got got locked up. Goddamn, I've been needing that door to close anyway. That's that's the last that's the last thing I had to worry about from that charge. Yeah. So let me ask you something, man. What what you think you'd be doing if you wasn't rapping? Trapping. Trapping. So rapping kind of like almost saved <laughs> your life. Yeah, like it, it it really is like. Kilo, man, like my boy Kilo, bro, like I used to be on some other shit, like the boys, they'll be in there rapping, you feel me, but I got a play to make, you feel me, so, goddamn, the boys taught me this shit, you know, my cousin Kiki, got he was rapping at first, he got there, I used to sit in there with him, and they be like, yeah, come rap, man, come do a verse or something, bro, we're not leaving the studio until you come do this and that, bro, chill, cuz, I gotta do it, you feel me, I got shit going on, you feel me, they, nah, I don't wanna hear that shit, Yeah. you feel me? Niggas forced me into that shit, man. Big brothers, you feel me? I, I been seeing you working for a while. Like, I been seeing you, but, like, I got real more familiar with you in the past couple months, I would say. And then, mm -hmm. like, lately, after I've been watching this scene, like, you just been going even more crazier. Right. Like, during this COVID time. Right. Like, what's be the motivation for you to keep going? My brother, man. My brother Kilo. Free Kilo, you feel me? Like... Everything because of him, you feel me? Like I'm saying, vibes, but yeah, I know you said that's like the I'm motivation, saying, like, I'm but saying, like because like these are more when Kilo was here, I was on more of the trap vibe. You feel me? Like Kilo be playing like these vibe songs, these songs, slow songs, and this and that for the females. Like, bro, cut that shit off. I want this. You feel me? Like my first song, Free Kiki. I want every song like that, basically. You feel me? Now that he gone, like damn, I should have did that shit with him. So now I switch up my vibes. Goddamn, I'm more. I'm more versatile with my wordplay or goddamn with my with my music flow and this and that, you feel me? So but like far as like motivation, I'm just shit, hey, you gotta be motivated cause shit, it's either that or be accepting of well where I'm at, you feel me? Yeah. I know you still young, but do you feel like it's been like a long journey with this music? Like with this music shit, like have you been you think you feel like you've been through a lot? Yeah, I feel like I put a lot of money in this shit that I didn't have to really put in, but I can't really say that it was a waste because, goddamn, I would I probably wouldn't be where I'm at without it. You feel me? Because like, I done down, I done tapped in a lot of places. I done got them, got locked in with a lot of big dogs. You feel me? Like I'm big dog. You feel me? So yeah, it's like goddamn everything worth it. So it's like nothing was really like a waste of time or a waste of money. It's just like. I just feel like I probably just put a few more extra dollars that I didn't have to in. What's been like the biggest lesson you learned though? Um, far as music? Yeah. Or even far as music or um, really conducting business or making moves? Um, I never really had like any big losses when it comes to probably got them taking motherfuckers word when it comes to down we're going to do this when it's time for this. Yeah. You feel me? Like that's always lesson depending on other motherfuckers. And you know, I'm going to come with what I need anyway just in case you back out anyway, you feel me? Type shit. Shit like that, you feel me? Nothing really like major far in. I ain't really had no 
really big obstacles to jump over since I've really been in it, you feel me? Yeah. My biggest thing was getting out of the streets, you feel me, so. Sure, let me ask you something, man. You feel like people be sleeping on you? Nah, people sleep on me, man. People don't want to give my credit, but they say I'm working, though. You feel me? Yeah. Like, motherfuckers say I'm working, <laughs> but they don't, you feel me? Motherfuckers see you, it's like, you see me, but you don't acknowledge me until, like, you see me, you feel me? Like, I'm big dog now, so, like, hey, uh, I'm intimidating a little bit. I see why y'all act like that, but, you know. What you, what you really be expecting, though, for people to, like, to, to, like, like, how you want your flowers given to you? Like, how you want your credit given to you? I'm going to earn them. I'm going to earn them, bro. I don't want nothing given to no, me. I'm not even, like, I'm giving to you, though, but, like... I, I just I just like to be... I just like I just like for motherfuckers to damn, you know, you know, get respect, respect, do you feel me? Get credit when credit do. Like, because I'm, I'm a very, like, I, I want to see you win. If I, if I fuck with you, I want to see you win, period. You feel me? Like, I ain't really got no, like, you feel me? Like, no hit or nothing. Or I don't really see anybody as, like, like, I got a spot that I don't want them to take. You feel me? Like... Yeah. I see motherfucker doing this and that. I'm going to comment. You feel me? Goddamn. Or I'm going to hit you like, bro, goddamn. Keep, you feel me? Keep going. Like, keep going. Like, I get I get that back a little bit, but, you know, you know. But at the same time, it's fuck it. You feel me? I'm going to go wherever I want. I mean, I'm going to do whatever, whatever, regardless. So, I'm going to get mine regardless. So, you're going to see it. You're going to respect it now or later. Either way with me. But look, when we talking credit, though, we talking about, like, more with your peers or more of kind of like your fans? Mm-hmm. More like my peers, cause like my damn fans, like my fans fuck with me, you feel me? Like niggas like motherfuckers send me all type of messages, bro. Like how about I motivate them, you feel me? I'm only 23. A lot of motherfuckers be in this shit. Old as hell ain't you feel me, goddamn. But I feel I feel goddamn, I feel like motherfuckers that's in the same position I am, she, she you feel me? Like we should all work together to climb out instead of being like crabs in a bucket, you feel me? Yeah. So um being that you have had some success though, you you going crazy. Do it ever be any times where you feel like, like you might like reach out to somebody like another rapper that you feel like might be on your level and they kind of like carry the situation, or you don't really experience nothing like that. Mm -mm. Like I ain't no dick rider or nothing like that. You feel me? Like I gotta know if, if I reach out to you, like the feeling probably mutual. You feel me? Yeah. Like, but like really, like the only rapper that I really like fuck with. I don't know, like, the only, like, really, like, genuine motherfucker that I really, like, met in this shit is probably, like, Lil Malik, yo. Yeah. <laughs> probably, like, Lil Malik. Like, and goddamn, we did a song and everything together, though. I fuck with it. I fuck with that name. Shout out Lil Malik. Um, I asked you that just to ask you this, like, how you feel about paying for features? Shit, I pay for them. Shit, I got a feature with Hood Rich, um, Pee Wee, you feel me? Like, and down. I feel like shit. That's just a, that's just the beginning of a relationship. You feel me? Cause shit, if I don't know you, I want to. I need that bread. You feel me? It's, it ain't like I'm down. We know each other, and you and I'm paying you. You feel me? Goddamn, Pee Wee and who they they them niggas that I want them niggas that I actually wanted to do features with like in high school. Yeah. So like it was like shit. I really jumped in getting features on some shit like I can. I'm getting them cause I can type shit. You feel me? Like goddamn, I feel that they. It, it, it helped me, you feel me? Like, yeah, that's what I was asking you. You feel like those features did uh, brought you any more extra attention yeah, than doing sure. anything to your like, platform? Yeah, for sure. Goddamn, goddamn niggas know, like, I got it, you feel me? Like, they know, like, that boy gonna put, he gonna put shit behind himself. I ain't got no help with this, you feel me? Yeah. And then, like, I'm still tapped in with Nate. I'm still tapped in with Spud, Pee Wee manager and Lil Rich manager, you feel me? So, I got a feature with um, Stunner too, and um, with down two five two Lico. Yeah, yeah, Lico put me on that shit. He got down that shit. I fuck with that shit. I don't like my verse, but the song, the song hard. Motherfucker, bro, how you don't like your verse? Motherfucker, motherfucker, like, bro, you stupid, bro. That verse hard, nigga. I'm like, bro, but I'm like, I'm my biggest critic, so goddamn, I don't really like half the shit I put out. But a lot of motherfuckers, that would be like, it, I be going off with other people, like, cause goddamn, this is for y'all. You feel me? Like, I rap just because this helps me personally, like, and my feelings and my problems, you feel me? But goddamn far as putting it out, I put out what the people say they want. You feel me? So Is it is it hard to <clears throat> maintain the relationship though? Like once you pay for a feature, is it hard to stay plugged in? Nah, not 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 when you live. Without doing not, too not, much? not really when you really living like how you living, you feel me? How you say you living, like they see that shit, you feel me? Like that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm still tapped in with the man. They see what I'm doing, you feel me? They still focus, they still comment and liking everything like I fuck with Stunner like Stunner cool as hell, like, we be on some shit, like, he replying to everything, like, we be on some shit, like, some, what a rat said, what, what you on, let's race, you feel me, like, he had the scat pack, I had, I pulled the Porsche out, yeah. like, goddamn, we like, let's race, nigga, what you gonna do, well, you feel me, like, yeah. 
cool, cool nigga and shit. Like, I keep it thousand. Though. You like you say you really like cars though. Yeah, yeah. I done had Air One. You you do a, you do a lot of racing? Nah. Yeah. Nah, not racing. Goddamn, like not just racing for money. Nah, like I just but goddamn, I'll race you. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. What you what you uh what you feel like you really be out of here and though like what's the fastest car though? Like you really like you know what I'm saying? You be you be getting low when? Shit. I treat I treat all them bitches like stolen. Oh yeah. um, goddamn! Shit, my favorite car my favorite car is the S five fifty Mercedes, but I feel the fastest car I probably had was the damn M six. M six. M six. That bitch was hard, but I used to come through goddamn doing like one seventy in that bitch. Then got no one sixty. That it, fast I went is one sixty. You don't never be nervous no going that fast. Nah, like when I had my bike, I used to goddamn hop on the road and do one eighty just to goddamn start my day. You feel me? Goddamn turn around, park the bike, hop back in the car. You feel me? Damn. I like that shit. Like I'm risky. You feel me? Like I get my name. Like I do. Like you feel me? That's what I tell you. Like I be on police chases and everything. Like that's why I had to slow down. Like, I got kids now. I got. I had to think about all that shit. You feel me? Like, yeah. Catching charges and shit back to back. Mm, you got you to gotta go to court for two years and then you got to be on probation and all this shit. I'm tired of that shit. You feel me? I've been going through that shit since I was like 13, 14. How much money do you think you spend on the court system? On the what? On the court system. Like just, you know what I'm saying? Catching charges and going to court and getting a lawyer. Shit. My biggest charge, I ain't really spent that much because I only, I only got locked up like twice. You yeah. feel me? Like for like actually having something worth getting locked up for. So got that probably about a good fifteen just on them two charters, you feel me? But I feel that it was worth it though. Yeah. For, to save my life, you feel me? Fifteen hundred, fifteen bands. Fifteen bands. Fifteen bands. Like my lawyer charged me like what nine for um when I got hit with the box. Goddamn in Greensboro, they charged me like about four five, and I had to pay community fees for each of them and this. And yeah, probably about a little, little less than like fifteen and shit like that. Yeah. Close to it. Damn, it's a blessing you was able to get out of those situations, my boy. Yeah, man, you feel me? Like, you gotta, you gotta make it happen, you feel me? You gotta make it happen. Yeah. Regardless. So let's talk about the music a little bit. Uh, I know you got a tape dropping real soon. Dice Game, May 23rd, me and Stoney, you feel me? Tune in, tap in for that. Goddamn, that bitch going crazy. What's that relationship like, you and Stoney? That's my brother, bro. Like, that's my brother. That nigga, like, me and him, me and him on the track, yeah. Is that is that your blood brother or that just like your main? Might as well be. Yeah. Might as well be because like goddamn really really, it's like my cousin. You feel me? Like yeah. but goddamn because I used to when we were little, my little brother, my little brother, granddaddy is his is his cousin. You feel me? So goddamn I used to be at my I used to be at their house. Stoney would pull up. So goddamn me and Stoney were like a year apart. He he a, he a year older than me. So goddamn we you feel me? We just been locked in since then forever. So it's deeper. It's deeper than music. Yeah, it's, it's, it's deeper than. It's way deeper than music. It's way yeah. deeper than music. We done been through everything. We done been through everything. That nigga Stoney. That nigga Stoney risky for real. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga Stoney risky for real. He gonna he gonna run. He gonna run from the police. I'm gonna run from the police. I'm gonna run from the police. That nigga gonna run from the police. Yeah. You feel me? That nigga, that nigga gonna go. You feel me? Y'all catch him. That nigga's going on foot, car, bike, whatever. How many um songs can we expect from the tape? Shit, eight to nine. 89. 89. DJ B, he, he's the host in that one. I had to get him to host that. Yeah. I had to get him to host what you, that. you think going to be the hardest song, though? <sighs> bro. <laughs> I, I, like, bro, like, we done did so much, bro. Like, I ain't going to hold you. Like, what, we got Corners. Corners, that shit a vibe. We shot that shit on the water with Got Haze. I don't know, man. I can't even answer that question. Yeah. I can't even answer it on that one, bro. I can't. Yeah. You, that shit just so hard, bro. Like, I ain't, like, I be confident in all my shit, even though I'm my biggest critic, you feel me? Like, because I don't like to let other people see that I'm down, that I think that my shit, you feel me? But, it's shit hard, bro. Like, goddamn, it's shit how, hard. How many we videos, both, though? Both how, many, how many videos can we expect to see from the tape? Air one of them. I see you plan on shooting about nine videos. We, we we done already shot like we done already shot videos that ain't even on the tape. You feel me? Like we got so much music together, bro. Like this shit crazy, bro. Like we just we just work, bro. We work every day. Like we shoot videos every week. How long did it take y'all to put the tape together? Really, goddamn a week. But goddamn, we broke them up into damn segments. You feel me? Goddamn different studio sessions. But in reality, it took us. 
less than like four, five days. Yeah. <clears throat> really like three, four sessions. Yeah. Three, four sessions. Shit, when you recording, um, like what's the best type of vibe for you though? Like what, what type of vibes you like when you recording? First, I need my en engineer to be able to give me input. Cause goddamn, like I said, I'm my biggest critic, you feel me? So if I say some bullshit, I want you to be like, yeah, that's not it. You feel me? That's automatically goddamn connection with my engineer. You feel me? The engineer to let you know, nah, bro, that shit was weak. You feel me? But the vibe as far as that, goddamn shit. I'm the vibe. You feel me? I'm the vibe. So goddamn, me and Stony there is just stupid. You feel me? Yeah. It's stupid. We be letting them motherfuckers off drugs. You feel me? Yeah. So. Shit on. Um, How of life. <laughs> yeah. Before we get up out of here, um, there's one more question I want to ask you. Um, Carolinas is definitely coming up right now in the music game. Like, how you feel about the Carolina culture? I feel Carolina got it right now, bro. Like, like, bro, like, I'm highly motivated. You feel me? Like, like you see how Tusi just blew up, right? Yeah. I opened up for Young Blue, what, like, two years ago. Tusi opened up for Young Blue that same night. Look where he at, you feel me? So I'm like, it's hope for us, you feel me? Like, this shit is destined for us. All we gotta do is keep working our move. You feel me? Once I gotta keep working my move, we good. But, I but what you think Nina needs to happen though for it to keep like growing though, for it to keep succeeding? Shit. Motherfuckers pulling their team on when they get on, you feel me? Like putting more light on their team, cause the light already on you, so goddamn when you get on, put your mans on, you feel me? Goddamn, just keep growing. We gotta keep growing, stop being crowds in the bucket. You know, it's a lot of hate out of here, you feel me? Like a lot of niggas are intimidated by a lot of people, you feel me, that they see working, so. But as far as, like, the Carolina culture and the music, I love what everybody doing, you feel me? Is, is there anything that you feel like the Carolina music scene is lacking, though? Not really, because, goddamn, we, we our own wave, you feel me, so we got, we working with what we got. Yeah. You feel me? We working with what we got. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about signing, though? Is there anybody that you want to sign to right now, or what, what's your whole opinion on that? My goal isn't really right now to really sign. My goal really like is to show everybody like that you can do a lot of this shit on your own. You feel me? Like really, all labels do is build you up. You feel me? God, I'm trying to build myself up. Let you know that I'm I'm out here for real by myself. You feel me? God, I'm putting this money behind myself. So only only person I really like and engage in the conversation about signing probably like. Tim Boss, you feel me? Like yeah, shout out I, Tim I feel, Boss. Feel, yeah, shout out Tim for sure, big brother. But what, what what's so good about like Tim Boss though that make you like you want to say they really you re, you make you really respect him and want to sign with him? And he's just genuine, man. Like I got them. I done seen I done seen motherfuckers. He done showed me. I done seen him get offered bread for damn artists. You feel me? Like and he he say nah, I get my artists that. You feel me? Like you got to come with a bigger bag. You feel me? He he, he made sure I knew my worth. Yeah. He made sure I know my work from what I'm doing. Like, I could call him right now and you feel me? God damn, what's good with bro? I'm checking on him. He gonna, he gonna answer. If if he don't answer, he gonna call me right back. You feel me? Like, now that's love. God damn, just feel God damn, everything genuine about him. It's all love between you, you feel me? Fact. I love what he do with his art. You feel me? So. Facts. Shit, we on Big Mouth Media, man. Is there anything you want to get off your chest while we here? Talk to the people, man. Man, tap the fuck in, man. Two, five. Bit risky, free kilo, two dice in a row is how I roll, you feel me? We out. Yes, sir.